Let me see if I can actually. Well, let me see if I can just pull up the list you had in your video. Oh, just the band list. Well, you. I like the way you did it because Cap, myself, no one did it like that. No one had the um, the actual like thing. I guess like straight out of Facebook or whatever. Oh, you mean the actual thing? Did you just type that yourself? Yeah. Oh, I had a feeling because I was like, damn. I was like, see, I just didn't feel like doing that. <laughs> I was like, uh. Yeah, people are wondering what I'm talking about is this. I still have it on Notepad. Yeah. You know I started recording already, right? Oh, did you? Uh -huh. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm here with Brother Slim. If you guys remember this fossil. <laughs> we don't make awesome. videos no more. We don't make videos no more. Technically, he just started making videos again, but you know what I mean. So, yeah, we're back at it again. The dynamic duo. What's going on, you guys? Yeah, what's your new name now? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's Simply Slim YGO. Reason being, in simplest terms, it's the way the channel used to be when I first started. It's just me. Just... You, just me and Yu-Gi-Oh, that's it, like, not sponsored by anybody, not working with anybody, doing collabos, but not working with anybody, like, under anybody, and actually giving you a real perspective on the game, because I used to just focus on the videos and not play the game as much, and now I'm actually playing weekly and learning how to, learning about the game and the format, basically, like, learning to, learning to walk again, so. Right. It's actually, and I, I've loved every moment of it, it's been a great experience. Every win and every loss I've taken, like, I've learned something, and I think that's just, that's worth it right there. That's so, yeah, good. So, I hope this name sticks, though, because, like, I'm not changing it again, I'm tired, I'm not changing my name anymore. Yeah, you say that now. I know <laughs> Alright, so we're here to talk about the ban list, you guys. Yeah, a lot of people are angry about the list. Personally, I don't care. Honestly, I'm with you. There are a couple choices, I think, that are just a little, I don't know, like, they're a little odd, but... Like what? We're trying to dissect them, I guess, the best we can, because... I mean, I've given responses to people's comments on certain cards, and, like, I've heard multiple stories on certain cards. I mean, like, to summarize that up in a video, I think, is best. that will let you guys hear, like, our actual opinions. Well, my favorite one is everybody talking about Upstar Goblin. You're only playing 39-card yeah, deck, card deck card now. now. Like, yeah. We both said it, like, before we even uh, turned on the video that one of the main reasons, I don't think a lot of people understand this, is that for the FTK decks, we get it. Hit Equalizer, Hit Explosion, Kill the Thing That Kills You, we get it. Yeah, but they they're still didn't gonna, do that. They're not going to do that. Uh -uh. They're not going to do that. That's the thing. They're not. So what they're going to do is they're going to hit Chicken Game to zero because that is a card that added consistency to your deck. It let you draw another card, then you would pseudo space over it and draw another card. Now with Chicken Game gone, pseudo space is basically like pointless. It's useless now. So you see, you've taken out six cards right there. Six cards of consistency from the deck. Then you put Upstart to 1. Alright, well, I don't fully agree with Upstart to 1 for other reasons, but as far as like the FTK decks and the speed decks go, it made it so that now your consistency is even lower. Like, your percentages are lower. All the percentages have just dropped completely. True. And you're at, you're at 1 Upstart. Now, I don't agree with that just because for other decks it did add consistency, and my biggest thing is it was the easiest card to ever side out. Yeah, it was. Yeah. But now you only got 1. Exactly, and I know people will still play the one, like, I wouldn't be surprised. All my things fell, oh, well. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's honestly what I think as far as Upstart goes. Like, I don't agree with it, 100%, but if that is their reasoning, I would say that is the closest reasoning I could get from it. Is yeah. that they wanted to act like they did do something about the FTKs, but they do it in a nonchalant way, that it's just like, oh great, Explosion is still around, Equalizer is still around. But in their mind, it's like we cut down the consistency to you getting to your win condition. True. That's honestly all I can say about Upstart. Like we just basically just covered Upstart. I it's pretty much just else. a holding card. Everybody's mad about that. It doesn't bug yeah. me. Yeah. Well, I, I guess the last thing I can say is that the the whole thing that I've seen people say that it's because it goes against the ethics of the game of having a forty card deck. It goes against what they put into effect in the rule book. And that, I mean, when I heard that, at first I was like, oh, that's pretty interesting. But at the same time, it's like, well, Konami printed Upstart Goblin. If you wanted us to play 40 cards, we are playing 40 cards. Upstart Goblin makes your deck 37 cards, but in reality, your deck is still 40 cards. Yeah, so, but I mean, you know, people like, don't talk like that. 
is it is right out the window. So, but yeah. yeah, we can focus on the rest of the list. We've hit, we've talked about upstart. I think that was the most probably like controversial card on the list. I think. Yeah, the other card was banned. Was what wavering eyes. Yeah, and I mean, what's there really to say about I saw that? I mean, you're, you're the Draco, you're the Draco uh, pal player, so it hurts the deck a lot. Not gonna lie, yeah. I'm going to miss that card. I wish they would have just put it to one and be like a Vanity's Emptiness type of card. That just like the one of, it's like yeah. if people really want to, they're just gonna have to rely on Twin Twister. I hate to say, what is it, Pendulum Storm? If they really yeah, want to, to be creative, or just net deck an OCG deck. Yeah, I mean that that sucks. Like, I mean, I I never played the Pendulum deck. I played against it now multiple times, and now like I actually the deck's not even it, dead I yet. See how devastating Wavering can be, even when you're playing a deck that isn't Pendulums. I can only imagine if that's what Wavering Eyes did against. I was playing Monarchs. If that's what Wavering Eyes could do for you in the mirror match, I couldn't even imagine with four scales what like what the outcome could be. Like, it's just. It's actually quite scary, to be honest, just because I see how powerful Pendulums are. But it's also funny now, it's like, if you set Wavering Eyes in and then I'm about to activate my scales and then play my Wavering, you chain yours, there's no more of that anymore. Yeah, that's true. Cancel, they cancel, like, they're canceling something out and then only one person gets the... Yep, that won't happen game. anymore. Now I can just Twin Twister you and you can't do anything unless you go on Twin Twister your own two cards, and that's just stupid. Yeah, so... Yeah, I mean, we, we saw it coming. I mean, it's just... You know, a lot of these things, like, are not that surprising. Mm -hmm. Not at so, all. Yeah, so that's Wavering Eyes. So those are the two banned cards, Chicken Game and Wavering Eyes. Do you have anything to really say about Chicken Game? Like... Bye. Yeah, honestly, bye. Like, the only thing I liked it for, I would say, is if I ever was to remake Dark World, it was just another way to add extra upstart goblins and give you a reason to play Terraform. Do you know there was a Dark World, World deck in OCG that top 80 in a bit? I actually want to build that deck. That's for the LOL. Yeah, no, I, I am working on a on an updated Dark World deck just for the fact we got two allures. Like, I mean, that, that just right there just opened up. It was like, okay, it sucks we lost two upstart goblins, but you're still going to play upstart goblin. I'm still going to play one day apiece. And you got two allures, so I mean, there, there's something there. Obviously, it's not going to be like competitive or anything, but mm -mm. all the dark world players out there, it's still like work. For I mean, the five, for the five people in the world who actually like dark world, and me being one of them. Yeah, I'm looking at that deck right now. It's yeah, like yeah, only thing you got to do is take out the three chicken games and Harpy's Feather Duster and one allure. Could they play three and put something else in there? Yeah, yeah, I could put two. Allures oh yeah, take out Monster Reborn and Card Destruction too. We got Soul Charge, and um, well, we don't have any any. <laughs> there's nothing like better than card destruction, but yeah, I just found my secret rare. That card's not coming back anytime soon, yeah, unless they errated it. Yeah, I ever I had there was so many copies of that shit, like man. But what are you gonna do? That card, that card was OP, and that deck really was. So. True. Anyways, no, no one wants to. I guess no one wants to hear about Dark Worlds. Like, Why hear about Dark Worlds? I'll make the deck later. Yeah, <laughs> let's see. New limiteds. Uh, isn't Norton new? Yes, Norton is new. You want to take a shot at that one first? Uh, that's not the card they should have hit. That's not the problem card. They should have hit Instant Fusion. Take the words right out of my mouth. Like, uh, the only thing I liked about Norton for myself was in all like the generic rank four decks. Like, it can just go as far as like Satella Knights, Gear Gear, Fire Fist, like whatever. Just like generic rank four deck. Like, it just it added that you know just that added element of boom, like, here's, here's an instant rank four, and, like, I liked it in Infernoids a lot, only because it could make, I could open two Cypher Lord Omegas. I still need to get that card. Yeah, it, it's a good card, and, I mean, you can just do it consistently. Like, I uploaded my, well, pre the the, the one reasoning, I uploaded my Infernoid deck profile to, uh, to uh, what's his name, uh, two Samurai X, one's channel, and I even said, like, I know reasoning's getting hit, but I would even talk about how, like, with Raiden Instant Fusion, and even even Instant Fusion Norton into Decatron, you could make that high-speed Roy Chambra, and mm -hmm. that could be OTK. You could make, uh, you could bring up Raiden with Norton, you could make an 8 right there, or make a or rank 4 right there. You could, yeah, like, I mean, it was just, it had that, that it opened, like, like, just made the ceiling insane, like, what you could do with it, but with it at 1, I mean, it's just stupid. It's like, most people only play the 1. Like, now you can 
like they even said like for water it shined in water the most they're gonna yeah. play three instant fusion no matter what like true it's an otk card like for them so yeah i, I fully agree i don't think norton was the right call they should have definitely hit instant fusion yeah you're right but, and now it's the now there's people that's gonna play thousand eyes restrict and, and that's kind of fun though not gonna lie that is pretty fun i've been missing that card but they should have brought back metamorphosis was the one too Oh yeah, that would have made a lot of fun just to see if you could ever get that combo off of scapegoats. That's old school, and plus, I don't even know why Thousand Eyes Restrict is like ten dollars. Everybody who plays goats has that card. It's true. Every goat deck has multiple of them too, mm -hmm. like just because. Uh, and yet that card is like ten to fifteen dollars. I think I got my yep. two. I found. Yeah, there and you one go. of mine is signed by Pegasus. Oh, nice, nice. I remember that. <laughs> Let's see, what's another card? Wisdom Eye Magician. I I don't remember what Wisdom Eye even does, honestly. When it's you have another Magician in your scale, you can destroy Wisdom Eye to bring another one from your deck and put it in the scale to replace it. Remember how people used to do Wisdom Eye, Wisdom Eye to pop each other off and then get like an Oaf Dragon and Dragon oh, Pit? Oh, okay. Yeah. I, 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 I have no opinion on that, honestly, because I never played Pendulums, and I don't think I've played against Magicians, the Magician Pendulum deck at all. I've only played against, like, Draco Plows. Eh, it got nerfed. But even though people are still going to play it, you can still play the deck. Yeah. Let's see what's on I mean, the other It's kind of just, like, whatever, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah, my favorite, even though it got hit, Ignister. Uh, Ignister, yeah. I mean, you, you have what you have to say. I mean, I, I have an interesting opinion on that card. I just wish they wouldn't have touched Ignister. I understand why they hit Ignister. Now you have to be smart enough when you use it. It's like yeah. you have to play it at the right time. I remember people in the Voltage chat, in our Facebook chat group, they were complaining about that card. Like, you only got one. I'm like, well, be smart. Use it when you need it. And then after that, recycle it back with that Gusto Emerald. Exactly. Or if you really want to, if you want to be creative with your deck, play Jar of Avarice and just shuffle the shit back. <laughs> I mean, there's there's options for it. I mean, like since I've only played against Draco Pals, like I've mean, played against them now at least like yeah, a dozen or more times. Like, like that card is very very powerful, and like I see where you know it you know it just it shines against a lot of decks. Like I believe it or not, even though I'm not a fan of pendulums, I kind of agree with what you're saying. Like having one is hard because it makes some of your matchups a lot more difficult. Mm -hmm. Because I've heard people say, and I don't know if this is true since I never played the deck, but it was one of your only outs to like Cosmo Dark Destroyer. That's true. Consist consistently. And I think that it's like, well, okay, whether you like pendulums or not, it's like Cosmo is just as like ridiculous as that deck is. And it's like, why don't you just make it so that, all right, they got three Dark Destroyers. You have one Ignister. Like, those numbers just don't add up. They just don't. So, I mean, it's just, I, I actually, believe it or not, I actually am in agreement that the card probably shouldn't have been hit to, to one. They could have left it at two. But, again, the argument would be that you can you can recycle it. But, I mean, you just have to invest so much in the recycling. True. So, yeah, I mean, that actually does suck. I mean, I even agree. I think that sucks just because it makes your matchup a lot harder. True. The next card was what? Drago face off? Yeah, I mean, that's all you on that one. <laughs> uh, I saw that coming, just like OCG. It's like, uh, bye. Yeah. I mean, do you cut? Oh, I mean, you still play it. You still play it. And do you cut the, the number of vectors? The numbers? In Vectors? No. You can go like two vectors and stuff, but I still play the three. Because yeah, you can just so use that like unexpected. Two two. Yeah. You can just use that one spell card, the one that lets you special summon normal from your deck. Unexpected dial. Unexpected dial, yeah, yeah, that's right. Well, that plus painful decision. Like, I mean, the deck the deck still has some legs to stand on, so it. Yeah. Someone will find a way. That's what always happens. Like, people are just like so quick to say, oh, deck's dead. It's like, just wait. Someone's going to find a way. It always happens. Yeah, it still works. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I mean, playing against like the Draco deck, like I, I mean, more most of the time, like if I would lose the die roll and I end up having to go second, a lot of times I'd open it, and I mean, it was just kind of like, all right, well, I've, I've played against them enough online to know like what's going to happen most of the time. So mm -hmm. it's just, like, it sets up your plays or it doesn't set up your plays. Like when I played uh, against one of my friends at Logos last week, like I mean, he opened three. I mean, it, that just sucks. Right. 
you know, so I mean, sometimes it was a hindrance. And he even commented back and said, well, now I won't, that won't happen again. So now if he actually resolves it, it's like, oh, shit. So, yeah, I mean, the deck the deck will find a way. People are going to be pissed about it. You know, it. someone, just like all the other decks, when they get hit, someone's just going to re-evaluate you know, re the deck and then make it better. Yep. Or at least do what they can with it. Let's see, next yeah. card was... Reasoning. <laughs> That's you. The only reason I'm sad is because I liked Infernoids, and I know you hate Infernoids. I hate that. <laughs> like, it's literally passion. the worst. Like I have to literally grovel in front of my brother saying that I liked Infernoids. He hated Infernoids. I'm sorry. I loved Infernoids, and I hate to say it too because um, I would try to argue that the deck could function without it, but you could see what would happen when you would draw it versus not drawing it in your opening hand, and it's you know you could do things, but you just couldn't have that just blowout factor without reasoning. And a lot of times reasoning was a high variance card, you either know one card or ten cards or God knows how many cards. But I mean it just had that added just like we're dragon rollers, we're coming out of the grave. Like, I mean it's just it's absurd. But I mean I totally see why it's not for Infernoids, because outside of Dallas, Infernoids haven't done anything amazing. Mm -hmm. But it's because of how splashable the card became and with Cosmo and Especially in the Magnus deck, which I'm sad to see, see because I actually that was a deck I actually wanted to play, like for real. It would have been better if they would have made more Power Rangers. Well, I mean, hopefully this, I don't know what, I know I think they said they're going to have a black and pink ranger, so they're going to add those to the fray and maybe that'll help with the, I mean, I honestly don't know, because the beauty of that deck was anything that gave you an extra normal summon or a special summon, just it helped you make Magnus so much easier. Right. And I mean, now like the deck lost upstarts and the deck lost Chicken the game. Reasoning, so... The deck isn't dead per se, but like you'd have to go a different route yeah. to to make to make the Magnus turn one. But honestly, Magnus is so easy to out because people know about it now. So true. Like I mean, for people who don't know, if if you can't find Gamma Seal or any other uh, the Kajus, fucking tribute over with the Volcanic Queen. Like honestly, like that's like a common. Like you can literally just go Volcanic Queen, run the bitch over. Like that's it. Like. <laughs> I, I'm surprised that people don't even have that turtle kaiju. I know I got like six of them somewhere. I had like eighteen of them, and I sold them all because they what, were when like they, in high demand. What when? What when they were three dollars each? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sold all like boom, just gone. But I mean, like honestly, like, I haven't needed them. There were times I wanted them, but eh. right. It worked with it, but yeah, reasoning. I mean, reasoning. Unfortunately, is a uh, is you know it, it sucks for Inferno players and. I mean, I guess you could say it sucks for the Power Ranger players, but it's because of what the card has done in multiple decks. I mean, it was even thrown in models. I mean, come on. Like, mm -hmm. after I saw that, it was just like, yeah, this card's gone. Right. I knew it. Like, I just knew it. I was like, the card's going to one. Or it's getting banned. I didn't think it was banned worthy. I'm like, it's probably going to one. Yeah, what's another card? Let's see. We only do upstart. Semi limited Debris Dragon. I mean,. I have a feeling there's a reason why they got semi limited, but it's probably not important right now. Give it time with like a future set or something. They'll explain why it came back. There'll be something that like you can just debris into that's just absurd. I mean, honestly, because I mean there's no rulers to abuse it with like there was and I mean I guess like plants for like in a way can you know, like the old school like plants could could do something with it. Yeah, they could. <laughs> The majority of their stuff, the only thing is Thunder King's still at one. Mm -hmm. But I mean, that that gives you like that synergy. I mean, I really liked it. Like how you could just, I mean, like you could just debris into like pretty much anything with yeah. that deck. So. Well, I, I think also, I don't think it's played in the Blue Eyes deck, but it would be an added tuner. I don't think it is played though. No, it could be now. I haven't, I, mean, I, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't really read like all the Blue Eyes cards yet. Yeah. Be nice, Konami. Tell us what our like, promos are though. Yeah. Or not promos, but the OCG imports yeah. for Shiny Victories that make me even want to, like, actually want to buy anything from that set, really, besides getting Crystal Wing, Synchro Dragon, the Cherry Blossom card we were talking about before we hit the record button. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no, nah, I mean, anyone that wonders, the Blue Eyes deck is actually pretty fun to play. I played a couple games with it, and it's, uh, it's surprisingly better than I originally thought. I, di I didn't have doubts that anything with Blue Eyes wouldn't be, like, powerful. I just wasn't sure, like, how the cards would flow. And, I mean, it, it's pretty damn interesting. I mean, they have a way to stop Cosmos 
when they have a way to pop back row and just spam eights, and I mean, with eights, you can pretty much OTK, like, out of nowhere. Plus, the dragons alone have 3,000 attack. I mean, come on, like, like the deck, the deck is set up to where if you're, if you, if your board gets broken, you're probably getting OTK. True. So it'll be interesting to see what that deck does. I mean, it is it is topping quite consistently in the OCG now. So this is oh, true. Yeah, but yeah, debris dragons kind of whatever. Good to see it at least at two. Yeah, the next card is a lore of darkness. <laughs> I was so happy about that, but only because of Dark World. Oh, <laughs> uh, you forgot Cosmo. That's the only thing that, because I, I, when I played a Cosmo guy, he played a lure, and I thought, oh, snap, that's right. Like, I forgot a lot of them were dark, and I was like, oh, man, it's like, now they're going to have a little added consistency. I mean, I don't think a lot of the builds were even playing Upstart. I don't think they were playing because they want to just kill you, so now they can just play a lure, and you're like, well, I can still kill you. Plus, ban banishing the shit, and then just Cosmo's how to get back is just kind of... True. It is ridiculous. So, yeah, I mean, unfortunately, they gave Cosmo, like, a, like a, they take away one emergency teleport just to give them a, a allure, so. Yeah, yeah. A, a teleport's not even the problem anyway. No, no, no. Is that the next card? No. Uh, hold on. Uh, next card was... Okay, I lied. It was teleport. Oh, teleport. We already, we already talked about this. That was, like, the stupidest card to hit. Oh, my God. They could have just put the card to one, but then again... <laughs> Oh, and they left it at two, like... Uh, you can yeah. still get to your tin can. Yeah, too easily, like, I mean... Especially with a lure. Yeah, like, there's, a, like, you take away teleport to give them a lure. Okay, let's let's not have them go one for one by going emergency teleport for, for tin can and farm girl. Now let's just have them go a lure and draw deeper into their deck, and guess what, Cosmo Town's up. Guess what, I'm just gonna add my lure guy back. Like, oh my god. Yeah, they didn't think that through. They really did it. Oh my god. I didn't even think of the Allure thing till now. <laughs> I see. Next one was... Okay, we're in... Well, actually, almost done. We're in uh, Unlimited to 3, The Dark Magician of Chaos. I got, I got mine in the, the Yugi thing somewhere. I got multiple of those things. Like, yeah, I need I, to get I one more. One. I need to get one more of the Yugi thing. Just so I can have like my little play. But it's like... I'm mad that they are at D mock, but um, at the same time, I'm happy they brought it back. Yeah, I mean, is it? I mean, I have. I don't think I've read the errata. I know. It's All it is is like when you normal special summon it now at the end phase, you can get a spell card back and, and add it to your hand, and then the rest of the effect is, you know, if it gets destroyed or something, it, go, it gets banished, and if it if it destroys a monster, the monster gets banished. Yeah, I mean, do you think it'll be seen multiple more than one per deck? Probably one. It's like I'm gonna play in my Dark Magician deck with dedication yeah. to light and darkness. Yeah, I mean I can see people playing it in. Um, I can't remember. You have to you have to tribute for it, right? Like you, it's not one of those ones that you banish the light and the dark. No, nah, you can just tribute for it. I'm just gonna use dedication to light and darkness because one of those new Dark Magician monsters or whatever counts as a Dark Magician on the field. I'm just gonna use this oh, okay. to bring it out. That works. Yeah, I mean I'm, I'm just nostalgia wise. I'm just glad that the cards back after all. Same. The years. Like, that's, like, the biggest thing for me is I'm just glad to see it back. I think it's cool. I, uh, did we did we skip over the ones? That, oh, we skipped over Thousand Eyes Restrict, did we? Uh, oh, yeah, we did. Yeah. The same thing. It's, like, nostalgia. Just glad to see the card back, and I think we already kind of touched it behind. I'm just going to like just doing this. Instant Fusion Thousand Eyes Absorb Your Monster, then let it die at the end phase. Yep. Cool. That's all it's going to be good for. Unless you yeah, synchro or something and... Unless you do like a synchro player or something. I mean, well, it's a level one, isn't it? Uh huh. I mean, well, you'd be surprised. I mean, there's level four tuners, so you can yeah. make a five or something. Sure, you can do that. Yeah, there, there, there's plays like honestly, I can even see the synchro fusionist deck doing something stupid like that because they could just like they could level eat something else and then like they when they they could sink into something. I'm sure that I'm sure that'll happen somewhere. Someone will figure something like that out. Yeah, I can see that. Well, think about it. It's like you're going second. I mean, the deck wants to go first, but you go second and say, like, you go as if you take their monster and then you just synchro into something and just start crippling their hand and their field and just kill them. Like, right. It could happen. I mean, it, it's kind of out there, but I wouldn't put anything past anybody these days in this game. Yeah, the next card is irrelevant, but Tricodia. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that card's not important. No, it's big. It's about it. It's a level 10. Stop max, it's about it. No, uh, next card, Advanced Ritual Art. So happy about that. Only, only one person is truly happy about that, and his name is Alentheo. 
I know. I thought of him. I even said it in my video. I, I thought of him instantly, and it's just because I mean, for me, I think our reasonings are a little different, but they're pretty similar. His is for Harold of Perfection. I love Harold of Perfection. I actually just uploaded my top ten favorite rituals, and Harold was number two. But the reason why I'm so happy is because of Demise. And I know Demise is not a deck that should be played, but you know I'm going to try and do something with it. Yeah. If you remember uh, Senior Blocko 98, Jeff, you remember Jeff? I do. He had a Facebook post talking about uh, bringing that back. It's like, I want to try it myself. Yeah, I mean, it's doable. I mean, it's just not going to be like... I mean, you can still have to decay with it because it, the deck used Megamorph. I don't think a lot of people remember that shit. I just, found, I, I just randomly found one random common Megamorph, too. Yeah, I have. I, I got like DT ones and shit. Like I had the deck all nice for when I did the the retro deck profile. I actually heard from David Rodriguez actually not that long ago, about a month or so ago. He actually saw the video and replied to it, and actually he cleared up some things about why he played this, this, and this. And was like, I was like, like just for me, I was like, damn, I was like that's like super nostalgic right there. Right. That's like we're talking two thousand and fuck. Was it like two thousand seven? Somewhere it's it's, it's a, oh, it's been it's been a, it's been a hot seven years or so. Yeah, easily. So I mean, that would be a deck I'd profile, but just for fun. Like honestly, I mean, I, if I if I was really really bored one week, I'd probably take it to locals just to mess around. But yeah, you better do it after one of your free ones. <laughs> yeah, seriously, because that would just be it could be a catastrophe. Yeah, and the last card, Crush yeah. Card Virus. Uh. I mean, it's I cute. Huh? It's cute being at three, even though nobody's yeah, not gonna it play is. it because they are red its effect. Yeah. And sometimes it'll actually hurt you if you let your opponent send cards to the graveyard. Seriously, so I mean, it's uh, depending on what deck you're playing. I'll, I'll I'll send I'll send three monsters to the graveyard just to bring them back with Soul Charger, trigger their effects off, depending on what yeah. deck you're playing. Yeah. So I mean, it's. Uh, I mean, Dives, you don't have that much of an opinion on it. I mean, it's... I don't either. Not with that one. If I had a virus, I wanted to come back to at least two or three. It'd be EEV all the way. Oh, right. Just, oh, what is it? Eradicator? Eradicator. Yeah. Just because. You could blow them out in the mirror match. And, I mean, it, it, I mean it's good against, like, like the tra like decks that play a bunch of traps and shit. Mm -hmm. It would give you an out to, like, some stuff. But it's just not as consistent as, like, the other ways to deal with what B2, so... True. So, I guess that's the whole list, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, is there anything that you wish would have happened? Uh, they should have hit Burning Abyss and, and really hit Cosmo. Mm -hmm. Instead of trying to hit, like, Pendulums and stuff, it's like, they're trying to promote Pendulums with Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5, but yet they're, like, hitting everything and let, leaving Konami's TCG-exclusive Burning Abyss and TCG-exclusive Cosmos alone. It's like... They gotta hit that shit eventually. Even though I don't think that I don't think they'll hit Cosmos really in for like until the like the end of this year. Probably like I mean we were talking about it earlier too. This is probably our Nats format list, so uh -huh. can, should be. We kinda know like what's going on, like uh we were already in a trifecta again, trifecta deck format where it's now it's Burning Abyss, Monarch, and Cosmo and Draco Palace taking I guess the fourth slot. Yeah, but, until we get shiny victories and then we'll see what people create from that. Hey, I mean, like, I think, like, the blue eyes, they mix it with Felgrand or something. I've oh, yeah, we won't, we won't be missing that because Felgrand's structure deck don't come out, I don't think, till July? Oh, okay, so probably won't happen, but generic blue eyes will happen. And I mean, yeah. Be interesting I know my one friend, Eric, is going to be playing the blue eyes deck. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just waiting for Dark Magician. So, yeah. I mean, for myself, I'll even say it as a modern player, I think they were wrong to not touch any other cards in our deck. I was telling you earlier, like, now this is, this is funny, because I think a lot of people would be like, I'm crazy for saying this, but, like, it's totally true. I feel like some of the cards in that deck are just absurd. They really are, like, um, Pantheism is, I mean, the, like, the draw... That card should have got restricted, or that draw effect should have been once per turn. Yeah, it's... Both it's, effects should have. I don't know what they were thinking with that card, and like, then also Domain, just because it is a ridiculous floodgate, but I mean, like, if they did what they did in the OCG, the OCG is still trying to make that deck work, and I mean, you know, Domain even at one is like having the one of Vanity's Emptiness, having the Pantheism at one, I guess until now, was like having the one of Allure of Darkness, like, they were cards that... 
I mean, the beauty of even having one pantheism is you could send it and still use it. True. And you could recycle it with idea. So, it, I mean, what did they do in those? Did they hit idea to one? I don't remember. Uh, which one? Idea, the little white, little white one. I think so. I don't yeah, really, I really fire. don't, I really don't keep a OCG's ban list anymore. Yeah. It's irrelevant. I mean, honestly, I think they could have done something to the Monarch deck. A lot of people say they should hit Stormforth. I can see why. Like, I'm not even, I'm not even going to be biased against it. Like, yeah, Stormforth is absurd. Absolutely yeah, absurd. it could have. You just, out of nowhere, just go, boom, taking your shit. Like, that's just, I mean, and I mean, dude, you can't do anything about it. Like, it's just, it's absurd. Right. So, I, I mean, I could definitely see them. I mean, I don't know. I guess if this is our Nats format, they want it to be pushed through, like with Cosmo, BA, and Monarch fighting for the title, and then Blue Eyes coming in as the is the wild card deck. I guess. Yeah, but the next set after Dark Illusions is something good. Yeah. Booster Pack the, uh... Destiny Soldier. Oh, okay. The Destiny heroes are coming back. That's good. Trying to figure your D draws now. <laughs> yeah, you might as well. I'm not trying to hype them up right now. Just us talking about it, but you might as well pick that stuff up. Because yeah, you know that uh, Kite, not Kite, that was his name, Aster Phoenix is supposed to be on the show, an arc V soon with Kite and Alexis, so yeah, their cards are going to be in that set. Definitely, yeah. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, I guess, on the list. There's not too much more to say. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't think the list is bad. I don't think it's bad at all. Like, a lot of people are going to be biased and say the list is terrible, it didn't fix anything, but let's face it. How many times do we say that, you guys? Like, how many times does a list come out and it just doesn't fully fix the problem? Like, if you're not used to that by now, you just haven't been playing this game long enough. Nope. Either that or you're just an idiot. And you're just, you're too picky. Like, that's the problem is, you know, at the end of the day, we can hope that we have an impact on what they do, but we don't. Nope. They're gonna do whatever the hell they want to do, and if you think you're gonna make a difference and that you're, you know, you're gonna like boycott them or find something like good luck. Oh, that like, shit I mean, don't work. I've seen too many forums where people say let's boycott them. This is like no, other people will still go to them, buy their I've product. Driven, I've, I've driven by the company, like I've seen them. Like I mean, it's just you know they're real. Like they don't care. You know, they're, all you have to do is do the one simple thing. Adapt. If you, uh, that, that too. Either that or just do what people been saying. Write, email them saying you want a ban list, you want this fix, just spam them there. Yeah. I mean, the one thing, even if they don't reply to you, at least maybe they'll acknowledge it. Yeah, if you do it long enough. Like, what, what, what was it that people, they went, they wanted, uh, was it, what was it? Written coverage or streaming or something? And yeah, then they finally yeah, yeah, did that. Got it. Oh, no, no, they didn't, they didn't want to draft no more. People complain so much about drafting, and then, look, they don't draft anymore. Do that for the next band. Let's say you want an actual release date and what time. Yeah, that would be good. I mean, I missed the where you could actually look forward to the date. I mean, now you're, like I told you, I mean, I only knew about the list because my phone just was going crazy, and it was only from one person. And it was just like, oh. And, like, I mean, I'm half awake, and I'm just looking at my phone, and it's like, oh, limited. I'm like, oh, crap, right now? Like, that's happening right now? So. I didn't know about it until you texted me about it when I just got off work, because nobody didn't blow exactly. up my phone or nothing until mean, after the fact. Every year, I'm late to the party on the list, as always. Like, I'm usually at work or whatever, and like, oh, yeah, I'm late to the party. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm not late to the party, but I'm, like, half asleep, so. I was uh, late, and no, I didn't I, bug me. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm content with the list. I mean... I, I've always tried to adapt and not complain, and I mean, it's hard at times, but I think if most players can, you know, you have two options. You adapt or you take a break. True. Saying you're done with Yu-Gi-Oh, saying you're going to quit, let's face it, it just never happens. I said the only way you ever truly quit Yu-Gi-Oh is when you stop everything Yu-Gi-Oh related, and it just it doesn't happen. I can tell you, first off, it just doesn't happen. Unless you completely just exclude the game from your life in every possible way. But True. there are so many ways that the game just comes back to you no matter what you do. I mean, I even use phrases like in my everyday speech such as broken. And, and, and how many and, people look at you like you're crazy and say, what did you say? Oh, like, I, then I just correct myself. Like, oh, yeah, and I've used, like, just many different, um, I've used, like, other terms, like, like, I mean, I mean, I've used shuffle before. I've used, like, just other just little stupid terms. But, I mean, it's just because Yu-Gi-Oh is just, I mean, it's just part of you. Like, 
just is. I mean, right. At this point, it's like you adapt or you take a break. There's nothing wrong with a break. Everyone has taken a break for one point or another. Speak for yourself. Well, some of us are just not that... Uh, I haven't took a break yet, but I'm damn tempted. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Never mind. But as someone who has taken multiple breaks, I mean, sometimes it's healthy. Sometimes you miss it, though, but then, I mean, like like I've said before, like, once you get all your stuff in order and you're able to come back, it's like, now it's like, now it's like, all right, well, my deck is still playable, I'm fine, and even if they nerfed my deck to hell, I'd find something else to play. Yeah. And it's at that point you realize, do I really like the game or not? If they hurt your deck and you still play, it means you really do still love the game. So, True. Yeah. But, I mean, that's pretty much all I, ha- all I have to say. Like, my two cents on it is that, I mean, you know, it didn't fix the problem. But it never does. So, not at the not at the slightest. I hate to say it. I hate to say it, but it's like get used to it. Like it's your problems aren't going to be solved. You know what's going to happen next? Mm-hmm. Is your decks are going to die because they're going to try to just absolutely massacre them after nationals. Most likely. Ain't that the truth? That's so why I don't buy nothing that nets. I usually like get rid. of I like dump everything. Yeah, it's usually the best time to do it because I mean you just never know what's going to happen. I can definitely see all three decks getting getting hit pretty pretty intensely after that. Yeah, it's so. like I don't have my Look, invite for nationals yet either. Neither do I. I mean, only pl- I've only played one one regional, and I mean I only played like, two, maybe three. I think two. Yeah, like I I just don't. I honestly don't even care. Like I mean, I'll go in. I'm just, just going just to hang out with people. Yeah, like that's what I was like. And probably playing play side events. Yeah, I mean, I can't put in for the days till June 1st, but I'm going to try, and I'm really, really, really going to try to go, because I haven't been in that since 2013, so it's been a while, like, I really want to go. Yeah, I can put in the days right after April 18th. So yeah, you're request. lucky, like, I gotta wait so damn long, but, I mean, I'm still going to try, I mean, I, I'm going to pull all my, <laughs> no pun intended, I'm going to pull all my cards on this one. Did you just use a Yu-Gi-Oh term? Yeah, I did. I did. No comment. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I've used Floodgate at work before. They're like, what? <laughs> yeah, I would have too if I were them. They're like, what the hell does that mean? Don't worry. I'm like, oh, nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I got to say. I mean, I, I'm content with the list because fuck it. Adapt. Like, there's no way around it. Adapt, yeah. adapt or take a break. Like, there's no there's no way around it. You can argue for hours saying that there's ways around it. There's not. You adapt or you, or you take a break. Pretty much. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. What about you? I'm golden. I got you're nothing golden? else. Okay, you're golden. All right, I'm golden too. All right, you guys. Well, first off, thank you, brother. It's great to be back on your channel again. We haven't done this in I don't know how long. I don't even remember. Long time. It's been a minute. I know. I don't, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's good. It's good to be back. It's good to be doing this stuff consistently. It's good to actually like have interest in the game again. Like. I don't care what happens from this point onward. Like, I mean, I'm just going to stick with it, so. Yeah, I am too, but I'm still putting video games on my channel, though. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that, absolutely. Like, I'm just, like, you just, you put, it's your channel, you do whatever you want. I mean, you know, like, I mean, I just, I'm not a video game player, plus I suck when I play video games. I mean, I wouldn't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> It'd be funny to see, <laughs> but, though. Um, but, um, yeah, like, I mean, I'm just going to ride this thing through, because... I mean, yeah, I mean, fuck it, like, I've been playing since 2002, like, there's no reason to, you know, you just gotta keep trying, just yeah. keep trying, like, keep adapting, and just keep trying, just, I've learned so much in the short period of time I've been back playing, I mean, every loss I've taken to either Draco Pals or Cosmo, or the Mirror, the Mirror, I don't know what I'm talking about, though, because I've said it in my last video, the Mirror pisses me off, but as far as losing sure. to Cosmo and losing to Draco Pals, I learned how to play against the decks better, and you learn things that you didn't know before, and I mean, you can't, like, to me, like, now that I'm doing that and not so much focusing on the videos, it's like, damn, like, I really can see where, like, back in, a couple of years ago, I wish I had tried to balance out the focus a little bit better, but, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> that's all I got to say, you guys. So this has been Slim. With the head. And Vexicus. I'm and sleepy. And see you guys in an upcoming video. Yep. Bye, guys. Bye.